Um, our last movie, Trash House, went quite heavily on CGI. We had a lot of um, computer generated shots, possibly slightly too many for our budget level. Um, these were often used as a way of just getting things done any which way we'd, we'd stick in a CGI shot. And because Trash House was kind of campy and kind of cartoony, it didn't matter if it wasn't the most realistic thing in the world. But um, Killer Killer's got a bit more of a sense of reality to it, and right from the very off I was really, really keen not to use loads of CGI. Um, so we've tried to use practical effects wherever we can, um, which meant uh, lots of fake blood going up the walls and, and stuff like that. Um, a lot of the sort of blood explosions and the blood hits are actually done with compressed gas, basically a, a bug sprayer um, with a length of hose attached to it and the hose being filled with blood and bits of sponge and whatever other stuff people have inside them. Not that they have bits of sponge inside them, but you know what I mean, undefined matter. Um, and so you put all that in there, you pump it up, build up the pressure, hit the thing, whoosh, all the blood and guts goes up the wall. Action, please. <laughs> so yeah, it was good going old school special effects. The only CG in the whole movie, I think, is um, maybe a couple of shots of the fog um, and possibly a few frames here and there on a couple of minor effects, but there's really nothing major. Most of it's all practical, most of it was all done on set.